Ha, look at that volume. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm going to show you how I got this makeup look but also how I did my hair. I don't normally show my hair in my videos but it's Blues Fest time here in Ottawa and I'm going to a concert tonight. I don't get out much so I'm pretty excited and I had to do my hair anyway so I thought I would do that with you. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit and I'm here to help you out. I make mistakes, I show you my mistakes and I show you how to fix them. This makeup look actually went pretty good though and I didn't put a lot of thought into it so I'm very happy about that and if you're a returning viewer thank you so much for coming back I appreciate you so much I love seeing you in the comments I love getting to know you by the way happy birthday Donna I'm a little late I know by the time this video gets up your birthday will have passed but happy birthday before we get on with the video hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos leave a comment below even if you leave a heart that helps me out so much it helps the YouTube algorithm know that you care and that you want me to succeed and it will show it to more people like you. And I'd love to build this community and this channel. So thank you so much for your support. Now let's get on with the video. If you ever told me that I'd get on camera with a turby twist on and no makeup, I would have thought you were crazy. But here we are. I never know if my lights are okay, I hope so. Anyway, I am self tanning my skin because I'm going to a festival tonight. I'm going to see Josh Ross. In my last video, I showed you that I am not self tanning myself right now because I'm going for a CO2 laser soon, but I can tan the rest of my body. I got it all over myself except for my neck and my face. So I have to adjust everything and I have an idea. I have this Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow. It says makeup, it's not a foundation. It doesn't give any coverage, but it does help me cheat up my tan. I did this before and it worked. The reason I'm choosing to use this is because it's sheer. I don't want coverage here because I don't want it to be obvious. I do want color. So let's see if this works. What is the best way? I need a body brush. I bought one, but I'm not a fan. Actually, I'm gonna use my Shiseido brush. They sent this to me a while ago and this is actually perfect. So I'm just gonna go all over the area that's gonna be seen. Is that working? You know what, where's my mirror? It's been raining all day, so I gotta be careful. I said to my husband, is my self tanner or is my makeup gonna be running all over the place? That's when I would feel very silly. Oh, that, yeah, that's working, okay. Here we go, we're gonna go all over. Dot, dot, dot. This brush kinda soaks up a little bit, Did that work? I feel like it's a bit splooty. Let's go again. I haven't been to a concert in so long. As many of you know, I have health issues and I'm a little nervous to go tonight, honestly. But you know, I can't stop living, so I figure if I have pain, I'm just gonna bring my pain medication. And if I have to resort to taking it, I will. I hate taking that stuff, but I've gotta live. That toned down some of the redness as well. Yeah, my plan is working. I'm gonna use Lumify for tonight. I don't use them very often. I was told by my eye doctor that I could use it, but to use it about 10 minutes before my contacts are in. So I'm gonna do that now. This is the droopy eye. I like it because it makes it look a little wider. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I went to the eye doctor the other day. I've been to a couple this week and my eye doctor is starting a dry eye clinic. I have dry eyes, so he asked me if I was interested and we made an agreement that I'm gonna film. He uses a radio frequency device by InMode and it rejuvenates the eye. I'm gonna interview him, his name is Dr. Bond, and he's gonna explain everything. That's not gonna happen for probably about eight weeks because I'm going for my CO2 laser and you can't do it back to back. The whole idea is that you don't have to use eye drops anymore for your dry eyes, so I'm excited to share that with everybody. This looks gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go in with my Revlon Illuminance Foundation. Now that I have this kind of matching, back to my self tan. I don't really care about having a full coverage tonight because I know I'm gonna be out in the weather and I just don't care. I don't mind having some freckles showing through or some sunspots. This actually gives a pretty good coverage. It is one of my favorite foundations from the drugstore. I'm using an IT Cosmetics dual ended brush and I'm just gonna tap that on. Yeah, see how much coverage that gives? Is that too light now? Did I make it too light? Uh oh. I think I made it lighter. <laughs> I don't know, I can't tell. Isn't that pretty though? No, that's gonna be good, that's fine. Once I get my bronzer on and everything, it'll be perfect. 
I'm gonna use my Tower 28 concealer. Is this gonna be too yellow? Oh, of course it is. I'm gonna have to mix something. I'm gonna mix it with Huda Beauty Faux Filter, and this is in Coconut Flakes. You can see it's just a little bit brighter. And I'm just gonna turn my brush around and tap that in. Right in the corner there. And that's it, I think. Maybe a little bit there. I'm not gonna go through my whole video without something on my lips. This is ridiculous. I keep doing that. Thrive Cosmetics sent me their lip products. I'm so excited. I've been seeing these on the internet. Introducing Empower Matte Precision Lip Crayon. I will do a lip swatch video for you, but I'm just gonna pick one for now. I'm so grateful. I've been talking with a friend of mine and she gets so much PR. I really hope to be like that one day because I spend so much of my own money. I just keep sending it out to the universe that it's gonna happen. I'm wearing a green top tonight. I should have brought that in. What about this color? This one is called Patty and it's a cool pink. Oh, that smells nice. It's like a, it smells like a bakery, but very soft. This says that it has a 12 hour wear, 12 hours of hydration, 12 bold shades. Goes on silky. I like that a lot. I love the color. Oh, I feel summery. Yes. This is telling me the kind of blush that I want because I'm gonna mirror this a little bit on my cheeks. I can't wait to try the other colors. I'm gonna use Huda Beauty today. I want this to last all night. I feel like this is a good one. And I'm gonna use a puff. I'm getting in the habit of that these days. So I'm gonna tap it on my hand again, on my, oh, freshly tanned hand. Oh, great. That's not a good idea. Okay, this is starting to crease, so I'm just gonna work that out. Make sure those creases are blended first before you powder. You know what? No, I'm gonna try the Pat McGrath again under my eyes. I wanna keep testing this out. Once I get organized, I will hopefully be able to do the best of the month, or the best of maybe every three months or something. Everybody else seems so organized. And I am not, I did hire an editor though. I'm so excited. I met with her today, she's so nice. Yeah, that works. Now I'm gonna go back onto the Huda Easy Bake. Get right in there. It'll be so nice to have help. I think now that I have her, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to get videos up. And I'm gonna do my lids too. And right there. I didn't do right here because I'm gonna contour and bronze. Before I get dressed for the night, I am gonna shower this off because that's the tint from my tanner. It doesn't look real, so I always shower that off before I go. I'm just letting it process right now. Oh, I have two spritz? <gasps> no, I have three spritz. Oh no, I ordered too many. I didn't realize that. Oh my goodness, I hope I can return this. I hope I'm not past the date. It might be a giveaway. Darn it. Organization, I need an assistant. All right, this is the Say Du Bronze, and this is in the color Spritz. Apparently, I thought that was a good color since I ordered three. From what I've seen, this has more pigment than the Makeup by Mario. Spritz is light medium to tan with warm red undertones, which I typically am. I always have a bit of a red undertone. It's vegan, liquid formula, natural finish. Okay, let's just go for it. We don't need the directions, do we? I have my palette in front of me, so I'm gonna put it on there so I don't ruin my self tan. Just putting a little dab. I'm gonna use my foundation brush. I'm just gonna pinch it, tap it in, load it up evenly. I'm gonna continue to pinch it right there. And then let it go and it's gonna blend. That's my idea, let's see if it works. Yeah, that worked. And come up on my forehead. It's a good way to cheat your brushes so you don't have to wash a ton of them. Oh, I really like that actually. It has more, um, it has more grip to it. It has more oomph. It's not as liquidy as the Makeup by Mario. I like this one better. A little bit on the tip, a little bit here. Pinching my brush again, just down a little bit. A little bit down here. 
okay, this is making me happy. I feel like I have color again. Oh, the last video that I just posted, I felt so light and it's okay. I'm just not used to seeing myself like that. Going back onto the eye thing, I don't know if you saw the videos where I did the Morpheus 8, I had Potenza, I've had radio frequency and microneedling, I've posted everything. All of those videos are here on YouTube. I'll actually put them in the description box for you so you can see. The quality of the video is a little bit different because I was using my phone camera, but you'll get the idea. I pulled this blush out, I haven't opened it. This is the LYS Higher Standard Cream Glow Blush Stick, and I thought that maybe the colors would go. This is in the color bubbly. It's a soft pink, which goes with this. This is a cool pink. Yeah, I think that's gonna go. I really like this lipstick, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm not gonna cheat again. At some point, I'll take my little turby twist off. Just keeps it out of my face. It's not normal for me if I were doing my makeup without filming, I would have it like this, just letting it air dry or towel dry. Okay, that comes off really, really easily. Where is my palette? I would not dip this directly on the face. So I'm gonna go onto my palette. If my hands weren't self tanning, I would put it on my hand. And when I do that, it makes it more even in the bristles. This is a Nikki LaRose N17. Yeah, N17. Oh, I'm getting to remember the numbers. I hope I don't sweat it all off. You know what though, if I do, that's okay. That means I'm having fun. Nobody will be looking at me anyway. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my forehead just to pull it all together. And I'm gonna turn the brush around and drag this down. I never wanna see a stop and a start. I say that in every video. I keep trying other eyebrow products, but I keep going back to this one. I think you're gonna get sick of seeing it, but it works for me. This is the Kosas Nano Brow Pop Nano. By the way, you guys are so nice commenting on my mother-in-law's video. Made her feel good, so thank you. I think this is gonna be the easiest makeup I've done. I kinda wanna give this some more dimension. What can I do? Deep magenta, maybe? I feel like maybe deep berry, actually. Will I be sorry? Before I forget, I wanna show you there's a pencil sharpener here to make that really sharp all the time so you never have to worry about it. Okay. Just gonna fade this out a little bit. This is a side that sinks. There, that's more even. So unnecessary, but I like to play. To clean that up, I just dipped into my foundation a little bit with a stiff brush. I should do my hair. If I don't do this now, the cowlicks are gonna form and stay forever. I'm not gonna do it all right now, but I gotta get the bangs done. This is the Redken One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment. This is a heat protector. So I just put this kind of mostly on my ends. Then I use the Moroccan Oil Volumizing Mousse. And sometimes I just go directly in with the tip of it, just like that, because I don't want it anywhere else, really. I just want it on the roots, and I work it in that way, especially at the crown. And whatever's left on my fingers, I just go in there. I find that this mousse is pretty light. It doesn't weigh my hair down. And then I just put a little bit in with my fingers right there. Because I have the cowlicks, I have to pull and go this way. If I just go this way, they're gonna curl in. And I hope you can see the tension that I have on that section. The cowlick is still there. I think I let it dry a little too much in the towel. Good enough. For the rest of my hair, I'm gonna pull it up off of my scalp. I do not like my hair stuck to my head. 
So I will never let it air dry really unless I'm just lazy and I don't feel good. So I'm gonna pull it this way. It's gonna fall this way, but I'm pulling it that way. That's huge, that's how I want it. I'm not worried about the ends right now because I'm gonna run a curling iron through it anyway or my main brush. And I just wanna keep that nice and voluminous. I just tilted my head upside down to get the back and that was easy. I'm going back to this one. This is so good. And I have shown it before, but I'm gonna show you again. Soft ochre paint pot. This feels like it's drying out, you can see, but I can still get it to spread with the warmth of my finger. Probably should get a new one. You know what, I'll, I'll show you a trick. I'm gonna mix some eye drops in with the soft ochre. Just start with a couple drops first. And then I'm gonna take a spatula and mix it up. This is old, by the way, it does not dry up that fast. Just pushed it down. Now watch how easy this is. Oh yeah, so much easier. feels creamier, just revived it. I hope you can see that this one went on so much smoother than this one. This one went on a little bit heavy. Boo, I didn't mean to do that. I should have mixed it before. Is that gonna cause me a problem? Ah, whatever. I'm gonna take an Angie Hot and Flashy 503 and I'm using this because it's nice and fluffy. I'm gonna go into this color right here which is, I believe it's corduroy. I never know how to read these. So let's take that in the crease. And I'm not pressing very hard, just really lightly holding it on a 45 degree angle, hitting the brow bone, and then working whatever I have left up higher towards the brow. I'm gonna go into satin taupe. This does have a bit of shimmer. It's a gentle shimmer. And I'm gonna go in the outer corner. Maybe I'll bring it all the way, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna bring that further into the center. And into the crease. They're just beautiful. I feel like I went in further on this. I, I always do that. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna bring it a little bit further in. I like that because it's shiny and it reflects the light really pretty. I'm gonna go in with this one right here with my Refer 02 right there. Yeah, that's pretty. and taking that satin taupe brush and just going over the edges to make sure it's all blended. I'm gonna take the same 02 brush by Refer and I'm gonna go into satin taupe again. I'm gonna use that as my eyeliner. That shimmer creates a very soft, kind of diffused look. Yeah, that's all I want. Just something soft like that. Cause it's kind of about the lips tonight. What do I have here? Get off of there. Now I am gonna be using a waterproof mascara just in case it rains. So I will use my Cleo Kill Lash. That stuff lasts. But I'm gonna use a primer tonight. I'm using the Mac Stack Primer.
So I let that dry a little bit and then go in with my Cleo Kill Lash. There's that wild lash. It stops me from needing a second coat of the Clio. And I find sometimes when you layer up a waterproof mascara, sometimes it can get clumpy. Although I'm not doing the best job now. I'm noticing some pink coming through here. So I am gonna put a little bit more just right there. I feel like I could perfect it just a little bit more. Right in here. I'm gonna use a little bit of House Labs just to make sure everything stays. Over top of the cream blush, actually. Okay, so there's a difference with this blush. In my last video, I used a cream blush and when I went over it with powder, it disappeared completely. This blush doesn't. And that's to me what it should do. It should stay with the translucent powder. It shouldn't just disappear. I'm gonna go in with diffused heat from Hourglass. It's nice and soft. You'll never make a mistake with this one. I think the cream blush and this over top, it's gonna to stay. And this has a bit of glow in it. That light color, it has a radiance. So there's no need for highlighter. It's hard for me not to put a gloss or some kind of lipstick over this, but it's not because it's uncomfortable. I'm gonna leave the lips like this because I wanna see how long it lasts. It feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel dry at all. And it just makes sense for tonight. So yeah, I really like the look. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair now and I'll walk you through it. All right, so I'm gonna separate my hair down the middle. And I wanna get this done fairly fast. So I'm going to clip a section up. This is a fairly big piece. And I'm gonna clip this up. It's very important for you to work from the bottom up. It's a lot easier to do. I've got a comb and I have the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. So remember, I already have the heat protectant on. I'm just gonna lightly spray it to give it some hold. I could take this whole section, but I'm gonna do two. It's still fairly thick. I have my Bio Ionic, it's hard to say, the Long Barrel Curling Iron, and I have it set to 390. My hair's in good shape, and I wanna be fast. If your hair's not in good shape, go down a little bit lower and hold it for a little bit longer. It's like a fabric, right? It's like ironing clothes. I could have used one clip. And I start rolling from the base first. The ends are the most fragile, so I don't need the heat on there quite as long as I do the roots. I think I need a haircut. If your hair is not curling, then it most likely has lost its elasticity and it needs a trim. Let's try that again. I do need a proper haircut though. I've been cutting my own hair for the past Oof, I don't think I've had a proper haircut since before COVID. I've just been doing it myself and I've had my husband and my daughter do it and my son. So I'm gonna go around my temples, go straight back. That will be my second section. And just repeat. The pieces that aren't curled are gonna fall away from those sections pretty easily. And the ends are out, so don't worry. And then I'm gonna roll them in. Yeah, I do need a haircut. This hairspray is gonna give me texture as well. So if you have really soft hair that doesn't hold a curl or it loses its volume quickly, spraying it with hairspray will help. Just make sure it's not too sticky. This is a workable one. So this is now my third section and then I'll just have the top left. The top is always where I struggle. This stuff's pretty easy. I 
I have been in such a hurry before that I did one big section from here down. Because it's a long barrel, you can do that. I do have more time to get ready today, so I'm being a little bit more particular. I separate this because I don't want this very tight. It's around my face, so I want it nice and loose. I don't hold it as much. Also, it's the finest hair that you have, so I want to protect that more. I just run it through fairly quickly. It's attaching these two pieces that really are difficult for me. Now, in this area, I want more volume here. That's where I put that um, voluminizing mousse. So I'm holding it up this way. I'm going against the natural fall of it. Did I get the ends enough? Yeah, I think so. But when it comes to the front here, I don't want as much volume, so I'll hold it lower. Remember how I blew it out that way? It's kind of the same idea. And this piece, I want it to lie flatter, so I'm gonna hold it down on an angle like this versus up. Just run it through quickly like that. Still wanting volume in this area, I'm going up. And then running it through. Just like that. This one's going down low again. Let's see where this is gonna fall now. And here I don't want much, just a little bit. And this area, I find that it doesn't wanna get a ton of volume, so I kind of just hold it there for a second. I may have to work with that a little bit, but I want this to have more volume here but I don't want it to be curly and frou-frou. So on this piece, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I put the heat up this way, and then when I curled this area, I didn't pull I didn't have any tension so that I don't lose that lift there. Here too, I wouldn't mind a bit more volume right here. Okay, let's check out the back. Oh, I missed a whole section. This is why you need a mirror. Good thing I checked. Okay, lift up, away, and then don't pull too tight, just get that kind of smoothed over. Okay, don't touch it. I'm gonna go have a coffee and I'll check back in a minute. Do I have my J on right? So this is cooled off. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil. Ooh, it's got a hair on it. This is by Unite. It's called Blonda Oil. I really don't buy a whole lot of hair products because I try to use up what I have. I'm just gonna run it through my fingers and then pull this out. I wanna separate them, but I don't want them to go fuzzy. And if I put a brush through it, that's what will happen. Whoops. So just finger comb it. Touch more, and I'm only putting a tiny little bit. And I'm not putting the oil on the roots. It's really going on the mid shaft and ends. So I worked hard to put all those curls together. If I run a brush through it, it's gonna stretch it all out. These earrings are loud. Yeah, and I think that is good. Try to connect these two. If 
I fuss with this too much, it's not gonna be good. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's take a look at the back. Good enough for me. Normally I don't spray it because I've already sprayed it as I curl, but tonight I'm going out outside. So I want to secure it in some way. Let me cover up my jewelry. But my hair is always movable. I don't like it really stuck. Is my lipstick still on? I have eaten a little bit, so this has come off just a touch. That's normal. There, that's easy. My husband's gonna be here soon. I'm so excited to go. I hope that it doesn't rain on us tonight. Thank you so much for sticking with me this long. I hope this video helps you in some way. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Share with all your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.